Hello YouTube and everyone watching. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty popular technique um, in the summertime when the water gets hot and it's throwing a big big worm. Um, Carolina rigged or Texas rigged it really doesn't matter but reasons why they hit this big worm in the summertime people ask me um, when the water gets over 85 these fish just shut down. I mean in the mornings they're active for a little bit but 10 11 o'clock they're going deep. Um, some fish just stay deep. And these fishes don't want to move in the summertime. You throw something at them like a drop shot, they might hit it. But if you throw a jig, crankbait, they're not they're not going to move for it. I mean, if you're really really working something slow, that they might touch it. But it's something big, something big they want to move after. They don't want to waste a bunch of energy in the hot water just to go chase something down. They want to wait for something big, and that's why a big worm works in the summertime. Um, some of the worms I've been using are the Upton straight tail worm. It's a 13 inch worm. It's a really good worm. Um, got a really good texture and smell to it the other one is a gambler I'm not sure what it's called but it's a 60 inch worm by gambler has a really good scent on it and uh, that's a really good worm the other one is a zoom magnum ribbon tail that's also a really good worm when you're uh, on the fall if you're if you're fishing shallow wood or points or something like that I'd use I'd advise a ribbon tail because they're most likely gonna eat it on the fall um, if you're dragging a road bed, dragging a point, then I would advise a straight tail worm, maybe on a Carolina rig. And if you're pitching it, I'd, I'd go with a Texas rig and a five or six aught hook. Um, it doesn't. People people think that this big worm, it's oh, it's not going to get hit. They hit it from the head of the bait. Nine times out of ten, you're going to hook these fish, and you're going to hook small fish on it too. I mean, you catch 12 inch bass on a 16 inch worm. I mean, it's nothing major. But you can also catch some of the biggest fish of your life. Um, this past week, I caught a five pound, 10 ounce bass on a ribbon tail worm. And then the next week, I caught a two and a half pounder on a 16 inch worm. Just something that's really different. The fish don't, the fish see it, but they don't see a 16 inch worm that much. People just don't like throwing them. They, don't, they think it's too big, they don't want to use it. But it, it's just a really good technique, and I hope you guys get to try it. 